One more time, without feedback. My name is Natalie Villalobos, and I'm one of the community managers for Google Plus. Uh, overall, I'm the generalist for the entire uh, Google Plus project. Catherine, who is standing behind me, she's another community manager. She focuses on Hangouts, which we're going to actually show you a lot of today. So, in uh, a couple things, all of the shirts that are laid out right now are mediums. If you're a size other than medium, just come and talk to us afterwards. We have lots of other sizes. Um, also, hold any questions until the end, so then we can just make sure that we can address as much as possible. And we will stay around for quite a long time answering any additional questions. So don't feel like there's any rush to uh, get at us. We're very available. Um, also, you'll notice uh, our cards are on all of your seats. I think this side didn't get my card because I didn't bring that today. But I will uh, give you, I mean, you can write down my name. And all it is is you're going to plus mention me plus Natalie Villalobos within Google Plus, and you'll be able to find me. I respond to every single plus mention, everything that's shared with me, so you will not be ignored, I promise. So in the earlier demo today, we talked, we went through Google Plus, all the different functionalities of Google Plus, how we have circles for discrete sharing, sharing what you want with who you want. We have um, the stream, we have Hangouts, we have your profile, we have Sparks. And what we wanted to focus on in this later demo was some of the really cool things that we've been seeing um, has been happening out on the Google Plus project. And so that's actually uh, what I'm going to go through. But I also wanted to start off with just sharing a little bit about my account and my profile. And so this is actually my Google Plus uh, project profile. And I wanted to give a couple different tips and tricks of things that I do and how I like to go this way. Um, so, a couple things. So, overall in the Google Plus project, one of the things that I've been blending is to make my authentic self. And that's not anything that Google really asked me to do. It's something that I really believed in the weight of our project and, and what we wanted to do. So I use my real name, and the name I'm commonly known by. And also, I have some information on my profile. So on my About page, I founded a project. This is all publicly available information my occupation, where I live, places I've lived. I like to say the Bay Area, because really I've lived in like 10 different cities. I'm in a relationship and other names I'm known by. But one of the other great things in focusing on privacy that I wanted to show you guys was that I can go up here to edit profile. And I can go and you can see that this is actually visible to the entire world. But maybe I didn't want my occupation shown to everyone. I can go over and I can customize every single piece of data on my profile, every single piece of who I am. And so that's actually been helping me be personal and professional and a best friend all over the way. One of the other nice things that we have as far as privacy that I wanted to show you guys is that you can type in anyone's name into your profile and see how they're viewing it. I can see also how anyone on the web is viewing it if I wanted to type in you know, how Catherine is viewing it. It'll instantly show me all the things that Catherine can see, which is really, really nice. So I can keep track of how I'm explaining myself. See, a couple other things. So um, I've also right here, since a lot of you guys are huge bloggers, have audiences, you might want to keep your personal profile and who you have in your own circles to yourself. And you can opt in to do that. So right now, I've opted to not show people who I put in my circle. So that's like my dad and like my mom. I don't want everyone to know who that is. So I've chosen to not display that on my profile. And that's why you're seeing this right here. However, you when people come to my profile, they do see that close to 41,000 people are following me. And I'm totally okay with that number. <laughs> so over here, um, I'll show you a couple different examples of visibility on posts, which I think is also a really nice thing to have when, you have, uh, when you're thinking about privacy and how you're trying to control sharing of who you are and bringing that blending of personal and professional to the web. So just a few minutes ago when I was setting up I had a hangout with Joe Satriani, and I don't know if there are any like rock fans in here, but it was like, I freaked out when I saw that Joe Satriani was having a hangout. And I jumped in, and that's why I have this giant lethal smile. Um, but I wanna, if I wanted to know who is this post visible to, I go over here, and it says visible to anyone, public on the web. But right here, I showed this to just my boyfriend, because he really likes Celtic knots. And so I can go over here to Limited, and it'll show that it's just to me and just to Timothy Jordan, which I really, really like. And he can also see that. 
So then he knows that, you know, it's a, it's a private message. I can also choose on post right here. There's a little arrow. You can, you can have a drop down. And I can, what I chose to do was to disable comments. Because with that many people following me, it's a flood of comments. Like, I love Joe Satriani. And there's like a hundred of those. And not everyone wants to see that. So I went ahead and I disabled comments. But what that enabled me to do was to get a tally of the plus ones. And that's really just people saying, yeah, that's totally cool. I really like that. I can also disable reshare, which means that I can limit the virality of the post that I've created. So if you were to go through my personal profile, which we're going through right now, you can see like, last night I was at the party and I shared this with just actually our, our boss, Brett Crosby. And he's like, do it ladies. <laughs> he was so stoked that we got head of that team at a party. But this was just shared to just a few Googlers and to the three of us. And so it, it keeps things like nice and tidy. I really, really like that. So that's what I wanted to show you guys. Someone over here mentioned, what is a plus mention? And that'll also help us in communicating uh, back and forth with each other. So right here, let's say I wanted to say like, hey, what's a plus? And then I would say Catherine, who's standing behind me. So it auto-completes for me, and I can click on Catherine. That will go directly to her, and she will get notified. Say there's a post somewhere out on the web, like down here, my friend uh, Anna, I can go in here and I can say, oh man, Alita totally should know about this cat on the slide, right? I can put plus Alita, my, she's in my favorite people, and she will be brought into it. Now it's important also to know that when you do plus mention someone into a post, whether it's limited, maybe it was just you and a couple girlfriends, when you bring someone in with a plus mention, they can see that post. That's really important to know when it's public, when it's extended circles. So it's you being a trusted friend of who's ever initially shared with, you're bringing someone in and that initial audience trusts you to keep that conversation um, with the right people. Let's see, what are some other things I wanted to share? Um, right, another big thing, and I kind of mentioned about the Joe Satriani thing, is a couple days ago, I asked the community fairly regularly, every Friday, I call it Feedback Friday. Because since we're still in field trial, I want to know how things are going for everyone. And so right here I asked two questions. And it's got 36 reshares and 297 comments. So I actually go through this and build an analysis with the community management team of what the community is seeing and feeling. Uh, what I suggest when you're building an audience for yourself is that every single post that you make is a community within itself. You're going to get plus mentioned all over the place, just even within your own posts. And so it's really important to respond back to these people. So it's not just you're gonna post and you're never gonna look at it again. You really take the time to talk to people, to curate that post, craft that post with all the abilities to share, disable comments, plus ones, and the like. A couple more things that I wanted to share was um, a neat trick. Um, so we're gonna say, I just wanna share this. Oh, that's my friend Kumi. Um, all right. For all of you guys who like mobile and are really into like Android and and, uh, and iPhone, follow Kumi. He is the product manager for mobile, and so he comes out with all these great updates around mobile apps and anything mobile related. He's really cool. So let's say I wanted to be like um, something as simple as this. What should I have for dinner? And I'm going to only ask my my blogger gals. So I'll go right here and I'll press share. They'll only go to the people in that circle. What I can do really quickly is I could say, mm, I could say Chinese food, I could say Thai, and how about American? And what I can do right now is I can go over here, I can disable comments, and it turns it into kind of an instant poll. So if I go over to Natalie, all my friends can do, they can come over here and they can plus one this. And various people can come in and just plus one and let me know what I should have for dinner. Because right now we don't have a poll element within Google Plus. But we do kind of have this hacky way of people being able to engage. And this is something the community came up with and we actually have adopted it and it's pretty awesome. One more thing that I wanted to show was how important I feel it is to be myself online. Not only do I use my real name, not only do I have this combination of family and friends on here, but I thought it was really important for you guys all to see that I have 
my identity. Like I don't really, no one ever gave me permission or told me to not do something. I kind of just like flew with who I naturally am and I wanted to see how people would go with it. So I think the craziest thing that I did was um, I actually told everyone, let's all have a meditation hangout. And I'll show you what hangout, or Catherine will be showing you what hangouts are. But essentially what I did was I put out a post to the whole community that was following me and I said, look, I just want to have a hangout. Here's the, here's the rules. You're going to come in. Everyone's going to be quiet. We're going to mute all of our mics. We're going to close our eyes. And we're just not going to do anything but breathe. Which I thought was very counter to the internet where everyone's like, let's see how loud I can be. Let's see how crazy I can be. Let's see how much stuff I can post. It's really important to me to try to craft a community of mindfulness. And so this is a picture that a, um, a follower of mine created. And you can actually notice me and my friend Toby, who's another community manager, were practically giggling. Because it's really hard when you're meditating with all these people popping in and out of a hangout to not open your eyes and see who is in the hangout with you. And so there was many photos of this where I had many different meditation sessions with people and they meditated with me from all over the world. And that was really, really awesome. Also, one of the things that I that I asked was, look, I want to get to this yoga pose. Can anyone do a, a yoga hangout? <laughs> you're looking at me like, like good luck. Um, and so it got shared 45 times. And all these people all over the world responded with like, oh man, like I'm a yoga teacher. I want to join in. Can you let me know when the next yoga hangout is? Like it's just all over the place. And so um, what ended up happening is I was so stoked. This woman on the East Coast was like, I will be the yoga teacher. I was in traffic, and I did not make my own yoga hangout. So bad. But what was really neat was that the yoga hangout went on. And this woman led it, and there were people chiming in from all over the world, and she was like, warrior one to like people all over the world. So I thought that was really neat. And that's actually gone viral. And people now have yoga hangouts, and all these different great types of hangouts. So Catherine now is going to go through some of the great things that we've been seeing, like this, on Google+, Plus that we thought you guys all would be interested in. Thank you. So for those of you who weren't here this morning, um, my name is Carolyn Woody, and I'm here representing Google+, Plus Marketing. And I'm going to um, go, go through some awesome ways that users have used the product um, with Catherine here. And so, Obviously, Natalie alluded to some really sort of unusual ways that when we designed a product and designed features like Hangouts, we never could have imagined that you could do these things like meditation Hangouts and yoga Hangouts. So we're going to talk about a few other, a few other awesome ways that users are really pushing the product uh, beyond ways we could have ever imagined, and we're incorporating this feedback and um, design, hoping to kind of improve the product um, based on these sort of really, really exciting and creative ways that users are using. So one um, awesome way that one of Natalie's friends actually has um, used Hangouts is to post cooking lessons. So what she does is a few days before, she says Thursday night, 6 o'clock, Pacific Coast time, I'm going to post a cooking lesson, and this is what I'm going to cook, and these are the ingredients. So she posts a grocery list, and then a bunch of people comment, you know, I'm vegan, can I do this? I'm vegetarian, what do I need to do? Um, and then 10 people join in this Hangout, and she goes, Watch it. She um, actually goes through a full-fledged cooking lesson through Hangout, kind of teaching people all over the world how to cook. And I think it's also important to know, right now Alita's not like trying to ward off a vampire. What she's actually doing is she's telling everyone to throw their plus one sign or their plus sign to agree with what she's doing. What I was saying was that Alita's not trying to ward off evil vampires when you see that she's doing this right now. She's actually throwing up her plus sign. We're seeing all these different types of ways that people are creating signs of agreement with us. But we have plus one signs that people will put in photos. Okay, show the sign. So um, hangouts right now are limited to 10 people, and we really like that number because it keeps it an intimate experience. So a lot of people are like, I have huge re reader bases, I'd love to invite all my readers, but if there's 100 people in a hangout, you couldn't feasibly connect with all of them. So what some third-party sites have developed are ways to, to record these hangouts and stream them on YouTube. This isn't something that Google's done, these are third-party sites, um, but I encourage you guys to take advantage of them. One of them is called Hangout Party, um, and it's a great way to sort of 
preserve that intimate experience of 10 people, but allow those who aren't able to participate to reap the benefits as well by watching it on YouTube. Oh, that's pretty cool. So another really um, sort of sentimental and touching way we've seen people use Hangouts is to connect with family around the world. So we've received letters from military families who've been able to hang out with their sons and daughters in Ibaka, Afghanistan, mm -hmm. um, and really sort of connect in a very natural, um, spontaneous way like they would just, like, just in their living room. Um, this is something that sort of hasn't really happened with traditional video chat. So we're going to share one story um, from a father who has used Hangouts to, as a baby monitor, actually. Um, and we're going to let him sort of tell, tell you guys how he sort of pushed the product beyond. Um, and <laughs> push the product. His name's Derek, by the way. That's so funny. That's my name. That's my name. That's weird, right? So we're here at Blogger with an awesome crowd who's super excited about Hangouts, and we are hoping that you could tell them the, probably one of the top five most innovative ways that I've heard that users are using this product. Okay. Well, um, I used it as a video baby monitor. <laughs> I have a daughter that's. Uh, eight days old now, I think. Yeah, eight days old. So uh, everyone wants to see her and so forth. So I set up a uh, notebook and put it in her crib, her, her bassinet, <laughs> and uh, made a scope and called it uh, Video Baby Monitor and put uh, some family members, you know, so select people in there and created a hangout. And I'm able to then, you know, watch it obviously if I'm on home, but uh, more importantly, you know, friends and family members, uh, my parents, sisters, uh, who is in Alabama, soon my sister that's going to college in uh, Virginia, you know, are going to be able to check her out from time to time, you know, watch her sleep and, you know, see their granddaughter and niece and so forth, and then looks like friends and family are going to be able to check her out. And, uh, more importantly, uh, when Daddy goes back to work here Monday, I've been off all week, uh, you know, at home helping out, well, Starting Monday, I'm going to be about an hour away at work every day, so my lunch break, I'll be able to check her out and look at my uh, new daughter. So uh, it's a very, very cool way to be able to do that. Instead of being a tech dad, I think that's great to be able to watch over her video you know, daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I can uh, join the, uh, the, uh, the hangout right now if you want me to. Just to yes, please. Yeah, let's see. Let us see that, babe. <laughs> I'd love to see her. Okay. Uh, give me one second. Make sure I can invite, uh, invite her. Don't tell anybody that uh, she's not available to have an account there. <laughs> <laughs> so one of, the, one of the things that Derek is doing is down here in the lower right-hand corner. So right now it's just between us and Derek. But you can go ahead and press invite and he can expand the hangout. So All right, baby. He's just inviting. Hi. Rachel, this is joining the hangout. Fingers crossed. You're sleeping. Oh. Aww. So <laughs> <And there's laughs> <there's laughs> <there's laughs> I'll just mute her for now, but uh, the, since she's not going to make any noise, I have to put one of you. See you. Oh. She's sleeping, so, oh. <laughs> so uh, like I said, friends, family members, me when I'm at work, uh, and sit here and check out my daughter uh, <laughs> when I'm not there. I just kind of want to leave that on. <laughs> oh, oh. What's that? Oh, oh. Right. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you Derek so much. Um, we really appreciate you sharing your personal story and um, your daughter as well with this crowd. <laughs> Very brave of you um, and showcasing some awesome ways that users like yourself are pushing the product. Thank you, Derek. Thank you, Derek. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. That was actually Catherine over here, and oh. how it normally works if you have a talking person on the other side is 
on a sleeping baby is uh, the, the loudest person comes to the big screen. Yes. Um, but if you oh, click on their screen, they'll come up. So she's not popping one of the okay. children. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Can you repeat the question so we can all see? Absolutely. Thank you. I'm also getting to play with this mic. This is fun for the first time for me. So I knew that Joe Satriani was hanging out because I uh, I went to Joe Satriani's profile and I put him in a circle. I call it select, right? Um, I don't have enough like rock people. So when he was hanging out, he made it public. So everyone in the entire world, especially those that are following him, knew that he was hanging out. And I was amazed that there was only like two people in it. And so I went ahead and, I, and it comes up in my stream as Joe Satriani is hanging out. And I can say, it says, join this hangout. So I click that button and I was instantly ported into Joe Satriani's hangout. So when someone's either having, so with Derek, what happened is we only wanted Derek in on this. So we made a circle with just him, we invited just that circle, and then that showed up only to him. You can also invite people other ways. But that's that notification came in through the stream. So then we're gonna tell one more sort of user magic moment story. Um, and we're gonna hopefully invite an awesome user named Daria Musk, who is a singer and songwriter musician, and has used Google Plus as a platform to launch her career. Wow. It's pretty amazing to see what she's done, and we're gonna let her introduce herself. What's her name again? Daria what? Her name, sorry, her name is Daria Musk. How do you spell the last name? M-U-S-K. in um, a studio in Connecticut, and um, I'm with my producer, Ram, right here, and um, about three weeks ago, I had no idea what Google Plus was, and uh, my older brother invited me, and, and he said, you know, maybe you can be one of the first musicians on there, and then I heard about the Hangout feature, and I thought, what a cool way to do a show um, and potentially play for people all over the place without having to lug my amps on the train, which is what I did the weekend before, <laughs> and, um, and really, you know, uh, Three weeks ago, not only did I not know about Google Plus, but not that many people knew about me or my music. And um, I was here recording my very first album, and I don't have anything even online yet. And I held my first Google Plus Hangout concert on July 16th, and hundreds and hundreds of people tried to get in. And, and I'm sure you know the Hangout is um, what we're doing right now, and it's limited to 10 people. So it was really cool because the Google community is so. It's, it's just incredible, the Google Plus community, everybody that I meet is so brilliant and so kind and, and so cool and they came up with the idea of rotating in and out of the front row seats with me. So Aww. we ended up playing for six and a half hours that night so that we could meet as many people as possible and sing for as many people Aww. as possible and they popped in from all around the world. And I realized that this Google community not only is so brilliant and so cool and kind, but it's effortlessly global. And, and where, you know, on other social networking sites where I try to, you know, just make friends or, or, or get my music out, I would sort of bounce around among a few people that I knew. And instantly on Google Plus, I made friends in Buenos Aires and in Ghana and in Australia. And I played and watched the sunrise in Norway through somebody's screen. And um, so obviously it was completely emotional, completely mind blowing. Um, and a week later we did our second concert and that one was live streamed as well and 9,000 people in 100 countries watched that show. Wow. <laughs> so that was pretty amazing. And now I have people all over the world asking me when my album is coming out and, um, and we were writing songs for them and um, I have my third concert coming up on August 20th. So I'm excited about that and I'm really excited to be here with you guys. Basically, I was just here singing and dreaming that maybe if I worked really, really, really hard and I felt really lucky that maybe one day I'd have a shot, maybe, and the world. And I never imagined that uh, it could happen overnight. And because of Google Plus, it did. And, and my, my world changed overnight, and I'm forever grateful. 
and um, I'm a Google girl forever now, so, <laughs> so I'm excited to be able to show you the Hangout feature, um, and yeah, this is it, and if you guys want, um, we can do a song for you. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> awesome, so um, this song is called You Move Me, and um, it's a song, it's almost like it was foreshadowing what happened before it happened, I was dreaming of being like all over the world, and I'm really inspired by music. And I sing in the song, All Around the World, You Move Me. <laughs> and it's about being lifted up out of a dark place and wishing that you could find people to connect with. And that's exactly what happened to me the second I hit Google Plus. Um, so this is called You Move Me, and thank you so much for having us here at the Blocker Conference. It's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Dess is dancing. Organization or anything like that, that'll be posted on our business page. 
and those are those are coming up shortly. So just wait for that. Um, I saw this. Yeah. Okay. So YouTube link on a Hangout. What is it? So if we go over to, uh, let's see if I just, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna start a Hangout. That's cool. And it looks like there's some other people hanging out. I'm just gonna hang out with my circles just as a, to demonstrate it. No one's here right now. But what I can do is similar to how you'd be in your family room sharing like a, a TV channel or a show. You guys are like going back and forth. You can actually go and click on the YouTube link and you can actually search for videos and you guys can all watch the same YouTube video. And you guys can actually battle it out for who gets to watch what video. It's actually pretty fun. So when you have enough people, you can just share your favorite viral videos yeah. like that. Oh my gosh, now there's some people joining. <laughs> can you turn a into a YouTube video? Um, people, you can record them. Um, but that's, it's not something that we support within Hangouts itself. It's something that people have been finding a way to do. Um, yeah, so kind of in a hacky sort of way. Uh, hey, Erica, and hey, Austin. Hey, Oh my goodness. Hey, I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, you're in a live demo right now in front of a bunch of people at the Blogger Conference. <laughs> so, uh, Hi. so this is Erica. Erica works at, um, at Google. And Ahmed is actually one of my favorite people in Google Plus. Um, I mention him all over my profile. He is super active. And I've said this a million times, you already know it, but I call him the pillar of the community. Um, actually, he's brought up another thing within Hangouts. And the Hangouts, um, say like he's at work and he can't be vocal on his webcam, he can just start a chat. And that's a way for, for people to continue to communicate. Mm -hmm. Any other questions about Hangouts while we're here with some of my favorite people? If you do, like I'm thinking about this total business, so if you do a hangout and you host it and you have 10 people, let's say you're teaching a class, you can mute their mic and they can chat on the side amongst themselves but still listen to you. Yes. You can ask them to mute themselves or also, hey Lynette, by the way, we're doing another live demo. <laughs> she jumped in on our earlier demo. Um, what I can do, let's say like Lynette is being super loud and she's going crazy, she's having a wild party, she's going off. She's a podcaster, so that's why she's got that huge mic. Um, I can actually go over here and I can I can mute her um, and, and change her. Oh, there's Shirley. Oh man, you guys are meeting all, all my favorite people. They did not know. Um, so I, can, I can mute the audio for people. Uh, just in case she's being too loud, because as Kevin was saying, the loudest person will show up in the top screen. And right here we have, um, it says, I'm in here, Shirley. I can click on Shirley's box and you'll notice there's a green outline around it, and that will that will make her the big picture, until I click off of it, in which it'll now go back to the loudest person, which is currently was me. Um, hey Shirley, just wanted to let you know, uh, disclaimer, you're in a live demo for Hangouts at the Blogger Conference. <laughs> uh, Shirley is a, a fabulous photographer and somehow manages to get into lawns of hangouts all the time. So as you notice, Ahmed just moved his laptop and so he was louder than anyone else. So that's why I just shifted to him. Any other questions about hangouts? Mm -hmm. yep. No, not really. Okay. You can record it. You can record it. You can upload it to YouTube. Right. Oh. So you, so Catherine, where'd Catherine go? Thank you. She's running back around. So community manager for Hangouts, getting everyone T-shirts. So they're asking, can they record, and how can they share? If can they at all share a Hangout after it's already happened? So no. and here you should probably grab a mic. I don't know where it is. Okay. So right now we don't have any way officially within the product to do this, um, but a lot of people are finding different workarounds to do it on their own right now. Yeah, you can use Jing and just record your whole screen. Right, so people are finding different ways to do it and you're sharing it with YouTube and whatnot, but officially right now there's not a way to do so. We've heard obviously tons about that, um, so we're definitely talking about that as a team. Yep. Custom. Oh, so you're wanting to know um, Overall, is there going to be uh, any vanity URLs like plus.google.com slash Natalie? Um, a lot, it, it's been like huge piece of feedback. So it, it's definitely something that the team is considering. 
Um, I mean, even for me, even I'm, you know, been on the project for a really long time, and I still have some really long URLs with long strand of numbers that don't really represent me. Um, yeah, I mean, I kind of own it. Some people, a way that they've been redirecting people to it is they'll, they'll um, put, I can do natalievialobos.com slash plus um, on my personal domain, and when um, I can hand that out as a URL, and that'll just re redirect to my profile. So some people have done that. I haven't done that yet. I also, uh, my friend Kevin Rose, who uh, is the old founder of Dig, um, or he is, was the founder of Dig, um, what he did is he actually has kevinrose.com, and he, he admitted that he didn't get nearly as much traction on his personal blog as he does on Google+. Plus. So literally, kevinrose.com redirects just now to his Google Plus profile. What about, I have two questions. What about uh, G plus dot two? Because that seems to direct you. What, are you guys not affiliated with We're that? We're not affiliated with G plus dot two. But it, but it works. It works. But it works. Okay. So that's all you. My other question is businesses. Yes. When are you guys going to have businesses up on the site? So as I was saying earlier to Amber, um, is that we don't have business pages yet, but we're still developing them. And so just be on the lookout. If you are really interested in that, Christian Ostland, I'll pull him up really quick so you can write down his name, is the best person to follow. Christian Ostland, right there. Hold on, did I see the right guy? Nope, I got Christian. 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 So um, write down Christian Ostland, and he's the guy who gives the, the updates about business pages. So you can follow his profile. Um, we have this really nifty thing too that we just implemented that I recently did a video of. So you can go up into the gear icon in the upper right hand corner and press Google Plus Help. And from here you're dropped into the Google Plus Help Center and you see what's new in Google Plus. When you click on this, you will actually get um, videos from the Google Plus team about all the new updates. So when you go back into July, you'll actually notice um, Sure, we have like circles reordering, uh, Timothy Jordan. Here's Christian giving the latest about business pages, and that will be available to everyone in the initial version. So I would check this out just so that you're getting all the more recent updates and the things that we're thinking about and what we're pushing based on the community feedback. Thank you. No, so one of the things that we focus on in Google Plus is having your common name. So, like, a, a, most people put their real name. Like myself, I put Natalie Villalobos, not like my Twitter handle, which is Natalia Henry. Because um, 17 letters of Natalie Villalobos on Twitter is way too long. Um, but what you can do is say if someone does know you as your um, blogger name, you can go down here and in the other names, I have Natalia. I also go by Natalia for my personal name. So you can put in your blogger, um, your blogger name here, and so when people search for you, you'll, they'll be able to find you. It's just uh, the product focuses a lot of being on the, in the identified state. Um, one of the things too, as with business pages, is if you have a blog, the business pages will allow you to have that brand name or what you're associated with later in those pages. The other neat thing that I just want, I'm not sure if you were here, so I share my location but I don't have to. I can say that it's only to me, and then no one else will ever see this. Or maybe I only want to share it to a certain circle or some people. So this is all this information is is totally up to you what you want to share. Aggregate with social media management tool, like computer. Yeah, I think it would be that might have to do with like when our APIs are ready, and they're not out yet. That would be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it would be so. Copyright um, So I, I personally like as a community manager and Catherine like any any more sentiment analysis tools and things like that would really be helpful. Um, I used to protect myself, um, but we haven't we haven't come up with our own. So, so is there going to be a widget, so is, going to here, is there going to be a widget, a Google Plus widget where you can stick it on your blog and then maybe people can just see your public posts, right, because that would technically be what's publicly available. Mm -hmm. But it's cool feedback, like I don't think we've gotten that far yet, right. But it's like a cool way to get it viral. Yeah. 
So we can definitely pass along some of that feedback. feedback yeah. Um, also, <laughs> another thing kind of along those lines of people wanting to be able to start a hangout or have someone join a hangout from their website or from their blog. So that's another piece of feedback that we got from the conference that we're definitely going to set up circles. Like, I'm a blogger. I talk about this, 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 and this. If you follow me on the blog, you can add yourself to those circles or will the admin pass to um, so the question you're really asking is, are those shared circles? Um, and right now, those don't exist in the product, but it's definitely a piece of feedback we're getting from a lot of users and something we hope to implement um, in the near future. Um, and so when the, hopefully when that becomes available, when we develop that, that feature, um, yes, you, right now, circles are private just to you, so you, your users don't know what circles you put them in. But with shared circles, um, your readers that, um, that are interested in certain issues could join um, a circle and start hangouts and have discussions based on those issues and things like that. I and mean, that's something that we hope to do down the road. <laughs> so, um, right here, you know, I have my favorite people. I have my bodhisattvas who do yoga, meditation, ladies, friends, all these people. Right? So I categorize people like this. Right? And then I shoot information to them and I share things with them that I think that they would be interested in. And we have conversations about those things. So that's how circle of so I know people have been talking a lot about businesses public facing, but what about for the intranet and Google Apps? Ooh, I am not a Google Apps pro. Well, if you can, so if you can have like, say your big company, Johnson & Johnson, can they have internal business pages when you're that big of a company? Is that what you're talking about? Well, um, like how Yammer works to allow internal conversations. As one right example. now, we've seen businesses do this on their own. Um, you, can, you can. There's lots of blogs sort of talking about ways you can use circles for, um, you know, group projects to increase productivity, things like that. Um, it's not. Sorry. Oh no, that's good. Sorry. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> so, like I said, these are there's sort of workarounds right now. People are finding ways to circumvent some some issues, some features that aren't on the product yet, um, and still using the product as as is to, um, in, in for like internal in, internal business purposes. I, I think in the future, as there are more integrations with Google Apps and other Google products, um, I think the sort of value proposition will be significantly greater to businesses and the ways they can use Gcal and Gmail and Google Docs and those different things. Um, and that would probably be way down the line. We have like a top 10, top 20 list. Um, the, the team that works on delivering the feedback with, uh, to the main product team is called Consumer Operations. And that's um, the umbrella organization that both Kathy and I work under. In the lower right, far lower right hand corner, there's a button that says send feedback. So our team is the team that organizes them. So whether that's a bug report or a feature request or anything that anyone can think of, let's say they don't find a community manager to bring it up, they have the send feedback button. So when our team is like collating all these things and bringing all that together, we're looking at one of the top hot issues, and that is one of them, that we've seen over the course of the past month. And then we go ahead and we craft that weekly report, and we go and we give it to the senior leadership. We give it to Vic, Kudotra, Bradley Horowitz, so that they know personally all the feedback that we're here. And along those lines, you said they didn't know if it was you know, sort of using their work domain or whatnot. So basically, there's a little bit of a a little confusion around like a Google account versus a Gmail account, and we are hearing a lot about that, and we know that we that's something we need to address um, for people to understand the difference. So they might have tried to use their, their person or their work account. They might already have a Google account associated with them. Mm -hmm. So then you know if they don't remember the password that they made for their Google account, which is you know different from the other Gmail account, that's a whole other story. So that's you know we, we definitely know that there's a little confusion around that we're we're talking about. Yes, nice lady with the camera. <laughs> um, so can you talk about um, multiple languages and the development of that? Uh, so Google Plus, uh, the Google Plus project launched in 44 languages. So, I mean, it's global. And the, in the send feedback, um, well, the UI, I should say, changes based on where I send an email. is not going to show up as send an email when my IP address picks up in Russia. So it, it switches there. Um, also, in send feedback, you can write it in any language, but down in that button. And we have a team of specialists all over the world that make sure that we're listening to our international community. We have a, a team, just to get a little more specific, we have a team in Dublin that does, covers a lot of Europe, Sub-Saharan Africa, emerging markets. And so that team um, 
is checking in, especially to, to, to focus on the different time zones. We have a forum that people go in. So we're making sure that you know the whole world is covered. Cool. Very cool. I'm gonna Okay, go. So, thank you. Thank you. Yes. <coughs> I you know, it, it just picks up his IQ. Go ahead. So I think also if your actual Google settings are chosen if within your settings you can choose your language. So if you go in and it's in Japanese, you can go ahead and change it back to English. You yeah. set that in your you know your your Google. Anyway. Yeah. And we even got specific too, so the help center sometimes can be a little bit different. So even on like the what's new on Google Plus page, you can actually select what language you want to see the information. Cool. So I can see really the sound only in Dutch if I really want to. Mm -hmm. Right? Because we don't want anyone to get caught on the updates. Just if you're not in this. Not just like is this the first conference that you guys have presented at about Google Plus? Yeah, us three. Yeah. Just like a. Yay, Google Women! 